welcome back okay so i know things look a bit crazy right now looks a bit hectic there's stuff all over the place but trust me there is a reason for this <laughs> i was sitting down in my beauty room like i oftentimes do to play with makeup swatch have a little fun and I started trying to dupe a palette that I have just absolutely fallen in love with, okay? I saw this palette on Instagram, of course, saw the pictures of it, saw swatches of it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. Put it in my calendar and everything, because it's not dropping until the 23rd, I believe, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> And trust, I might still buy it because I'm a palette, palette addict and an eyeshadow freak. But, you know, I have been trying to up my single shadow game. And in doing so, part of the reason is so that I can do palettes that I want to try and keep myself from buying. Because I have a habit of if I see it, I like it, I want it, I'm buying it. So... No promises that I'm not going to buy it, but I am definitely going to try and dupe it right now. So, uh, yeah, hence why I have a good portion of my singles. This is not all of them, but these are ones that I'm just going to be checking out right now. Now, the palette I'm talking about is from Terra Moon Cosmetics. It's coming out, like I said, next week, and it's called the El Barrio Palette. And when I saw the swatches, I'm, you know, going to put a picture up for you guys right now showing the palette as well as some swatches from Liz Dagger Beauty on Instagram. Yo, she does the most amazing swatches. She can swatch anything and make me buy it, okay? But this is what the palette looks like, you guys. Look at these swatches. Oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. So... Like I said, I sat down to try and dupe the shadows from her swatches because, you know, it looks like she has some pretty good swatches here. Gives a good idea of what the palette looks like and the color story. And although, you know, when you're looking at swatches, like, of course, she's, you know, fair skin tone. So the swatches will look a bit different on her than they will on me. But at least I can get an idea, ballpark of the shadows which is to me a bit more accurate than just actually looking at the shadows and trying to go off of there so I've been talking long enough like I said I had started pulling some shadows already trying to come up with dupes and so I'm just going to continue to do that with you guys just do some swatches and whatnot so I'm going to go in the same order that she has her swatches here which is not the exact same order you know row for row looking at the palette but let's start with that gold that gold is absolutely gorgeous it looks like just your basic yellow gold and I started out with this shade here which is from my adept cosmetics singles this is the ACS 30 and I feel like this one is probably going to be a good match for that gold um or at least close enough, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do, you know, a swatch so you guys can see what that looks like. Now, I don't know if it's as rich as the one in the palette, but it is really, really gorgeous. Now, let me see here. As far as golds go, I have a lot of golds, but they're like different tones of gold, you know? Like this one from Color Rain, I think might be, oh, that one is gorgeous. That one might be closer. That one's a little bit richer, a little bit deeper. Yeah, that one might be closer, huh, you guys? Yeah, it might be. Although the Adept is absolutely gorgeous, I think the Colored Rain might be a little closer. Let's see. So I'm going to pull the Colored Rain. And this is another one from Colored Rain, which is even deeper. What are we thinking? 
Mm, maybe. Let's see. Oh, that kind of has like a bronzy, bronzy tone to it. Ugh, this is hard. And it's really hard because I'm, you know, trying to do it from the camera and the camera changes tones. So, yeah, I think that one might be a little bit too deep. Just looking at the picture of the shadow and the swatch. So, yeah, I'm going to go with this one here for now, which is Superstar from Colored Rain. So, let's go ahead and keep that. And I'm gonna put the Adept back for now. Okay, so next she has that kind of like, it looks kind of like a tomato red, which is what the color Sangre, Sangre it looks like. So the gold looks like Ritmo, I don't know, but the next one looks like Sangre. Now I initially pulled this one. This is from my Luxy Beauty and it's called Berry Blitz. And this is what that looks like. And honestly, when I swatched it, it looked close, but I don't know if it's deep enough. But you know what? It kind of, ooh, 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 that's pretty. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty. I'm not sure if that's deep enough though, but it's gorgeous. Okay, Um, let's see, what is this? This is Cozy Fire. This is from my Give Me Glow Christmas Morning Palette. I took all of my uh, Give Me Glow shadows out of their palettes because I like to have all my singles in one place. Hmm. Yeah, neither one of those looks dark enough to me. This might be a tough one. Let's see. It really needs to be like that tomato red shade. What is this? This one I think is from Luxy. Yeah, this is from Luxy as well. It's called Boop. So this one looks a little bit deeper. More of, yeah, this might do it. Yeah, that's a little bit deeper, you guys. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I think that one is the closest out of these three. Actually, it might not be the exact same as the sangre because that sangre that swatch is like crazy <laughs> but it'll be close enough for now so we're gonna keep this one okay next she has like that really pretty shimmer it's like i don't even know how to describe that it kind of looks like a, a reddish goldish shimmer called bailar and I don't know, but I chose this shade here. I thought this was close. This is Scrumptious from Shroud Cosmetics. So yeah, very, very pretty. And kind of the shift in here reminds me or makes me think of the color in these swatches. It might be a little too dark, but I think she comes pretty darn close. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So I'm not going to keep looking. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because that's probably going to be as close as I get from the shadows that I have, you know? Okay, so what's next? That green, okay. I feel like that green is going to be the bane of my existence because out of all the green shimmers that I have, I thought for sure I had something similar or exact to that and as I started swatching I'm like yeah no not so much now <laughs> this one that I pulled from Davina Cosmetics Parthenos oh my gosh this green is so gorgeous but I feel like it's too light it's too bright and it is a duochrome there's like a blue shift in there but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys honey because this mug is gorgeous <laughs> it's gorgeous do you see that <laughs> ah! <laughs> do you see that oh my goodness i'm telling you divina cosmetics they do not play but yeah this uh parthenos is so gorgeous <laughs> i might pull it just just because 
Now I also have this green here. This is another one I think from Shroud. Yeah, from Shroud, this is Artifact. And I feel like this one is probably more realistic or a bit closer to what I need to dupe that color. But I don't think that it has a dark enough base, you know? The color itself is a good, good shade, but I don't think the base is dark enough. But I might have to go with it because I'm thinking that the Davina is just, is too much, too much. Mm, do I have any other greens? What is this? This one is another Give Me Glow. This is Shaken Not Stirred. And I definitely feel like this is probably going to be too light, but maybe not. Let's see. Ooh, we might have something with that. It still doesn't have a dark enough base to me, but uh, between that one and the shroud, I think I'm going to pick that one. So yeah, let's go ahead and go with this one for now. I know somebody's screaming at the screen right now like, no, gay, gay, no. Yeah, so we'll go with Give Me Glow, Shaken Not Stirred for the green, just for now. So let me move these out of the way. This is so fun. I love trying to dupe palettes with what I already have, even though I'm probably still going to buy it, but it's still fun. <laughs> okay, so the next shade, La Reina. Oh, that green one was, what is it, Icon Icono? Icono? So let's take a look at La Reina, which is like that deep, rich, burgundy shimmer. Now that one might be tough. Now the first one that I pulled was this Give Me Glow Ruby Rose. It's a foiled pressed pigment. This is what she looks like. Super gorgeous. So let me be careful. I be doing too much when I be swatching sometime. Ooh. O M G. Look at that. If you don't get anything else from this uh, video, you might find some shadows you want to buy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think that is actually pretty close as well. So, yeah, I have that one. That was like a front runner, I think. This is one from Colored Rain, I think. Is this? Yeah, Colored Rain. This is called Passion. And that's what Passion looks like. So let me check Passion out right quick. This one might be a little bit too bronzy or something. I don't know. Very, They're both very beautiful, very smooth. Yeah, that one's a little bit lighter, a little bit too bronzy. So we're going to pass on that. Hmm. Here's one from Davina. This one might be a little bronzy too. This is Marpesia. Ooh, this is a duochrome. Look at that purple in there. I know this one ain't, <laughs> ain't the right color. But I'm going to swatch it anyway. Okay. Oh my goodness. The shifts in here is ridiculous. You probably can't even see that. But yeah, that definitely is not going to work because of that purple. But there's like some green and orange and bronze. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could see that. But yeah, gorgeous. But no, definitely a no. In the pan, you know, it looks kind of burgundy. To you guys, I can see on the camera, it looks purple. But to me, it actually looks burgundy. It's crazy. Oh, let me see. Do I have any other? Oh, wait. Let me clean my hands. Okay, so over here, what is this? This is Sydney Grace. Okay, Sydney Grace, Princess Pepe. Princess Pepe. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, Princess Pepe. Did not come to play play. Okay. She's pretty. But yeah, I think I'm liking the first one so far. And then I'll swatch this one more here. This is Sydney Grace Queen of Hearts. And yeah, it's not dark enough. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. But yeah, she's not dark enough. I don't think. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the first one which is Ruby Rose, 
And I still don't even think she's dark enough, but just looking at the rest of my shadows. What is this? Yeah, this is um one night stand from Luxy Beauty. And I don't think that's dark enough either. Yeah. I don't think I have anything that goes deeper than that. So that's going to have to do for now. Okay, so the next shade in the swatches is Salvaje, which is a really pretty kind of pumpkin-y, but bright. It's like pumpkin-y, but still bright orange. Um, and the one that I pulled to start with was from Luxie Beauty, and it's Mesa. And I thought, okay, well, this might be... close enough you know I have oranges but I have like super bright oranges this one I feel like is bright but it still has a bit of that kind of like warm you know warming feel to it so mm, that's a maybe let me see I might need to go a little brighter this one I hate to pick these up because they are already this one is already kind of cracked. But this is Mango Margarita from Give Me Glow. This is more like a Cheeto orange. So, yeah, I don't feel like this is a good match because, yeah, it's like more of that bright yellow cheetah type orange. So, that's a no. Yeah, I really don't have... Let me look one more place. I really don't have too many, like, super bright oranges. Like, I have a neon orange in here that is just way too bright. This is Atomic Tangerine from MBA Cosmetics. And I think that's going to be way too too bright. It's like neon -y. Yeah, that's like a neon -y type orange. It's way too bright. I have a color here from ColourPop. This one is bratty so this is bratty from ColourPop. this one might work actually that might be the closest bratty hmm so right now it's out of bratty from ColourPop or mesa from Luxy. Mesa's a little bit darker, so I might end up going with Braddy, but I'll pull both of them just in case. Now, y'all remember, I'm working with what I got, so I might not have any exact dupes. Now, that green, that matte green, the first one that I pulled, which is Mi Gente, the color I'm trying to dupe is Mi Gente. The first one I pulled is Armadillo from Clarity. And you guys, I love the colors that Clarity has for their shadows, but they're so freaking soft. I've had so many of the Clarity singles break on me that I said, even though they're gorgeous, I'm not going to buy any more because they're just too soft for me. Because I keep, you know, buying them and losing them because they break. This color, I think, is a really good match for me, hint they? Yeah, that is a really good match, I think. So that's a for a front runner. This one from Makeup Geek is called Spilled Tea. Spilled Tea from Makeup Geek. And I think this one is a close match as well, but I don't think it has enough depth to really be a good match, you know? So, I think I'm just going to stick with the Clarity um, in Armadillo. Next, the shade Carnival. <laughs> now, that is a shade that I feel like I have a lot of shadows that are close to, but not on the money. So, I started out by pulling this um, Biolumin Bioluminescence <laughs> from MBA Cosmetics. This is what I started with. Of course, it doesn't look as light. Um, not an exact match, but it might have to be close enough to date, okay? Because I don't have that blue. I do not. I've been looking high and low, and I don't have it. So, 
that is the bioluminescence <laughs> from MBA. So as you can see, it's still a really pretty bright blue, but it is not the same. It is not the same. It's not as light and it's a little more, I think periwinkle is the shade. I don't know. But I also have this shade here from, um, who is this? Colored Rain called Drip Drop. From color rain another you know really gorgeous bright blue um, it might be a little bit is it darker or lighter honey I can't tell it looks like it might be a little bit darker than the first one so it's definitely a no-go because I need something lighter hmm I don't know you guys I might be out of luck with that color with carnival this is Muscle Beach from ColourPop, I believe. Muscle Beach. Let's see what's happening. Oh, she powdery, honey. She powdery. Ooh. That might be closer. I think it's closer in tone to Carnival. Not exact. But it might be closer than the other two. Maybe if I mix those two together, <laughs> it'll give me what I'm looking for. But I'm just trying to come close, you guys. Yeah, I think that has a little bit more of a teal type pull to it. But I feel like, shoot, it's closer than the other two just because it's lighter and brighter. Let me see if I just put a little, mix a little bit of this. Does it come close? No, I like the brighter, the brightness of Muscle Beach. It's so freaking powdery though. Oh my goodness. It's powdery. Okay, so we're going to go with Muscle Beach for now. Yeah, definitely not an exact match, but it's going to be close enough today, y'all. This one here from ColourPop is called Formation. Hmm, let's check her out just just to see. Mm, I don't know. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to keep both of these for now from ColourPop, Muscle Beach, and Formation just to check them out a little bit more when I do my final swatch. Okay, and lastly, I think this might be, might be the easiest, not sure. Por la noche, that really deep dark blue, navy blue. Now, the one that I pulled initially to get started is Complicated from Luxie. I noticed I'm pulling a lot of Luxie shadows. Um, so this is Complicated from Luxie. I don't know if it goes quite deep enough but this is a really pretty, really pretty, um, you know, dark, deep, dark blue. Ooh, she pretty, she pretty, she pretty, she pretty. <sighs> a little powdery, but she pretty. So that is the looksy complicated. Let me see if I can find anything a little bit deeper. Mm, this one I have here from Give Me Glow, High by the Beach. This one is really pretty. Ooh, hoo, hoo. hello, 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 yes. Ooh, that one is definitely, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I like this one better. I just do. I like this one better. So that one is a front runner. Let me put Luxie back for now. Mm, do I have any other navy blues? I honestly don't think I do. None that would go that deep and that dark. Let's see. Here is a navy, a deep dark navy blue from MBA Cosmetics. This one is more of like a sequins though, because it has just a teeny tiny bit of that, you know, shimmer in there even though it's kind of like a matte. It's called Blue Safari. Oh, she pretty though. Let's see. 
see it's a matte but it still has like that little shimmery shimmer in there just a little bit which honey I don't need and it's not as dark as the give me glow so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go with the give me glow for now and see what happens okay you guys so I'm gonna put the shadows that I chose in this little empty uh, magnetic palette from what is this from ABH I believe Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just doing it in the same order that Liz Dagger has hers just so I can swatch in the same and you guys can compare on the screen uh, I didn't decide on the orange ah, I'm gonna go with bratty and I'm going to put Mesa back from Luxie. And then for these blue greens, I'm still deciding. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Okay, so this is my dupe palette. <laughs> what I came up with, I'm not sure on these. I'm probably gonna end up going with the lighter one to be honest with you. Mm, let me swatch them one more time. So hard. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the lighter one. So I'll take out formation from ColourPop. Okay, so this is my palette. So now let me go ahead and swatch this just like Liz has her swatches. So this is my dupe palette although I feel there's definitely some variation in you know the shades the depth um, the quality of course because these are several different brands that I'm duping it with I do feel like I you know have some shades that are close enough to that palette to where I can create you know similar looks with these dupe shades so you guys let me know what you think about today's duping session I had a lot of fun coming up with you know these different shadows and trying to dupe this palette so although like I said <laughs> I'm probably gonna still buy it y'all know me y'all know me it was fun duping it so yeah this is it you guys hopefully you guys have fun Thanks so much for hanging out and watching me play in my singles today. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!